What's up everybody? If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss out. And yeah, welcome to Mamiya. M-A-M-I-Y-A. I'm not, not really sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Mamiya Shared Illusion of the World's End. It's a visual novel and I believe it's going to be a short one, but a sweet one. So let's go. I was supposed to play Together BNB, but my computer cannot handle it. So I'm not sure if it, I'm pretty sure it's the game. It's taking too much RAM or memory usage. It's using like more than my available RAM. So it's sad. Scenario sele selection. Downfall, fall down. What? Fall down. It's kind of lit. Let's go. It's kind of busting. All right. <clears throat> Natsume died. Who is this Natsume? Um, did someone pass away? He's a cute young man. Yes, they're holding a funeral for a boy called Natsume. Natsu. Me? Well, um, I think I might have known him. Oh, oh, really? Probably, at least I think so. In that case, why not bring him some flowers then? Huh? Can I? Of course! I'm certain he would appreciate it. I'm getting a bit tense. No, it's gonna be okay. I just need to get inside. After muttering that to myself, I nodded and took a step forward. Ah! Only to end up bumping to someone. Uh, s sorry. Man. <laughs> the pink haired man glanced at me. Then clicked his tongue and headed into the church. D did he just click his tongue at me? I opened the door. A solemn out atmosphere hung heavy in the air as he stepped into the church. Student A! <laughs> Natsume. <laughs> I don't know, I can do that. Some wet, others looked ahead in silence. Were they all reminiscing about the time they'd spent with him? I hope they are. The service would begin in seconds, and I was the only one still standing. I heard he scanned my surroundings for a place where I could sit. I... Oh! <coughs> Sorry for the cough. Excuse me. Let's see. Um, If I were me, I'd just go... The exit. I took a seat close to the exit. Um, I'll sit next to you if you don't mind. Not at all. I kept gazing at the flowers far ahead while waiting for the ceremony ceremony to begin. Then came the coffin. Yo, what's up? It's Bussin! Nah, that's inappropriate. But yeah, I don't know. My brain's just going everywhere. Everyone around me muttered prayers in remembrance of Natsume. A chant played as the coffin was carried forward. Hearing the priest talk, all I could think about was its contents. A while later, the service began in earnest, accompanied by organ music. The attendees stood up and brought flowers to the coffin. A student with darker skin approached it, approached it next. Finding myself somewhat curious about him, I decided to follow him with my gaze. 
The dark-skinned student took some of the gathered white flowers and approached the coffin. His amber eyes were distract were, were, <laughs> were directed right at it. I could see the strength of his will reflected in them. His graceful fingers didn't tremble one bit. As he placed his flowers, he slightly parted his lips, almost like he was about to say something. But in the end, all he did was furrow his brow and close his eyes before ultimately returning to his seat. The one to approach the coffin next was a dark-haired student with a mole under his eye. I am curious. Finding myself somewhat curious about him, I decided to follow him with my gaze. He slowly approached the, co the coffin with a downcast look. The snow-white flowers he carried seemed the perfect match for his prim and proper aura. As he bent over to place his flowers, his glossy locks swayed forward, hiding his eyes. His youthful looks made him appear almost translucent and had completely captivated my attention. He then slowly stood up and returned to his seat with his head hanging even lower than before. Who's the next one? Ah, a serious dude with a piss off face. Ruffling his pinkish hair, a man with an intense look on his face stepped forward. I'm once again curious. Finding myself somewhat curious about him, I decided to follow him with my gaze. He approached the coffin with a rough, unsteady gait, but the way he took the white flowers was anything but that. His hair covered most of his face, preventing me from discerning his expression. In contrast to his earlier demeanor, there was a certain melancholy, melancholy feel in the way he placed down his flow flowers. I was left in awe by that strange, uncanny imbalance. Next, the coffin was approached by a tall boy in a school uniform. Yep, I'm really curious about everybody here. Who are these people? Finding myself somewhat curious about him, I decided to follow him with my gaze. His considerable height would no doubt make him stand out in any crowd. He walked with a straightforward stance, giving me the impression of someone with a noble, righteous soul. Even the white flowers he carried seemed to match him in terms of sheer dignity and grace. His large eyes gleamed with genuine grief. Natsumi. Yeah, he uttered the name in a voice so low you'd have to strain your ears to hear him. Damn, we really followed them if we could hear him, or any of them. Once all the attendees had set their flowers, the funeral came to a close with a few words addressed to the buried family. Surrounded by people leaving the hall, I... Can we save? I wanna save, bro. Like... Wanting some fresh air? I decided to step outside for a moment. Yeah, this is getting too heavy for me. The cold December air outside the church felt unusually pleasant. I walked around for a bit until my eyes met another student's. Ah! Uh, hello! Oh! Hello! Hi! Were you also attending Natsumi's funeral? Yeah, I was. I'm pretty sure he meant a lot to me. You're pretty sure? That was an oddly vague way of putting it. Uh, oh, sorry. I was very young at the time, so I'm not entirely sure. But Natsume probably lived in my neighborhood. And we often played together. Probably. I can remember it like it was yesterday. On an especially snowy day during the winter, we ended up building a snowman together. We looked around for sticks and leaves to give it a face too. I was in charge of making the face, and I remember making use of all the stuff we gathered together. We used red fruits for the eyes, a large leaf in place of a nose, and an art and an art stick for its mouth. Was it cute? Oh yes, very. Looking back at it, Natsume probably just wanted me to have the most fun part. Could be. Who knows? He was so nice. And now he's dead, isn't he? 
Right, that's pretty grim. I went outside to chill, bro. We can't see him again. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I got a little carried away there. Oh, it's fine. I'm actually glad to have heard a new Natsumi story I wasn't aware of. Really? I'm glad you liked it. Um... Y yes Well, it might be rude for me to say this and I don't want you to get upset, but You kind of remind me of him a little bit I See Goodbye then take care <laughs> We just he's like you compare me to a dead person bro. We out we dipping you too A person's death. Suo Kato. Oh, wow. That's like, that's the spelling of my younger sister, Kato. F first name. This was the first time I experienced the death of someone I knew. And we're asking if she's a Jap- Um, her father's Japanese. Well, I guess, yeah, it's my father now. So there's no problem, really. All right, go going back to the topic here. All my grandparents were thankfully still alive. So never actually attended a funeral before. The church had adopted an unusual scent, one of mourning. It made the place feel almost like it's been cut off from the rest of the world. You know what else is cut off? This video right here. I'm cutting it right now. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, comment, share, hit that notification bell, and watch my other videos. But other than that, yeah, to end this on a good note, if you have any loved ones that you s that unfortunately or sadly passed away, the loved ones, of course. I get not everyone has a perfect family or like a good relationship with one another, but yeah, the only thing you can do is move on. Not forget about them, no. Moving on does not mean forgetting about an event or a person. It takes it's harder, yeah, to move on to things. But that's how life goes, doesn't it? But yeah, bye. Stay safe everybody. See ya.